Uh, so I'm outside of uh, Husavik, Iceland. This was the uh, area that was featured in the Netflix. I have as always on availability group with two nodes. Um, I've optimized both nodes to a point where the primary can withstand all of the reads. I want to download licensing from enterprise to standard. What's the process to switch from always on availability groups to basic availability groups? So the first thing that you want to ask yourself is, is why are you doing that? Because you won't get a refund on licensing. Microsoft won't just give you the money back. Um, but assuming that you're trying to true up for some point from years from now, or if you were never licensed for enterprise agreement to begin or enterprise edition to begin with, which I've worked with on customers with that, then what you want to do is you want to reinstall SQL Server with a standard edition, which alone takes downtime in order to do. Um, you can do upgrades, SKU upgrades. I don't believe you can go from enterprise to standard, but I could be totally wrong about that. The term you're looking for is called a SKU, S-K-U, a SKU upgrade. Google to see whether or not uh, it supports, and it's probably even documented on brentozr.com. It's just been so long since I've had to do it, uh, to see if you can do an upgrade from uh, uh, enterprise to standard. Then at the same time you're doing that, uh, or before you do that, you want to make sure that your availability group setup is only one uh, database per AG. In standard edition, each database requires its own basic availability group. So if you do that ahead of time, if you set up your uh, databases so it's one database per AG, and then you do the SKU upgrade, that might just work in and of itself. You may not have to do any other uh, changes. I've never done anything else, so here's what I would probably do if I was trying to aim for it in production. Go build yourself another set of SQL servers. You could do it pretty quick and easy with Enterprise Edition. Simulate the setup that you're aiming for, and then see what happens when you drop down to standard. See what Because you may have to even recreate the availability group. I have absolutely no idea. If you do get into the position where you have to recreate the availability group, uh, uh, don't play around with listeners. I mean, you can use listeners, but instead what you want to do is a DNS C name that points to the listener. Go set up a DNS C name that points to the listener name and then have your clients, all your end users, point to that DNS C name instead.